Hi guys, it's me again, and this is the box that I got to hold six cards. And I opened it up, and there was a lot more in here than six cards. So, I'm going to pull some of it out. Laura sent me this Tim Coffee Grand Adhesions K & Company, these beautiful fall um, embellishments. They have foil on them. They're just beautiful. So, if I make a um, Thanksgiving page, I will definitely use those, or I might use them on cards. And this is a beautiful card that she made. Isn't that gorgeous? It's all embossed and hand colored. And I don't, it looks like marker maybe, but I guess I'm not sure. And she just sent me, wrote me a very nice little note, but this is just beautiful. I just love that. It's almost like enameled. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Laura. That's going on my little um, display thingy. Display wall. She sent me this big sunflower. Isn't that cool? Won't that be pretty on the cover of, a, of an album or, you know, like a, a 12 by 12 album or on a page? I just love that sunflower. And you could even, you know, embellish the center if I want to. You can't, but I could. Uh, Susan Branch from, from Color Book. Oh, and then look at this little heart up here. How cute is that? Yeah, and it's from Color Book. And Travel and Journey. These are dimensional stickers. And I've purchased a lot of travel paper and embellishments um, so that I can do some pages of some of our trips that we've made. So that will come in handy. Studio G, these dome stickers, these are like in the varsity. These are really cool. I really like these. Very neat. Let's see, can it spell out Packers or Badgers? Oh, there's an A for the Packers. P-A. Well, we'll just have to see. Because we are Wisconsin Badger and Green... Wisconsin Badger and Green Bay Packer fans. <coughs> Some more of these Studio 112 Dome stickers. These are uh, alphabet and they are in beautiful soft blue and purple and yellow, just beautiful colors. So if I ever get a grandson, these would be perfect on a little card or album for him. And some more of these dome stickers, these alphas. These are really cool. I don't know what the font is, but I really like them. And I love the colors, nice and bright. So these would be appropriate for a lot of things. Thank you, Laura. And here's for my little granddaughter, whenever I have one. Grandson, granddaughter, I don't care. So these are pink and varying shades of pink. There's a little bit of peach, almost a white or a cream color. And then this one's really cute. It just has some polka dots on it. Love these. So all I have to say is my daughter better get busy. Yeah. Okay, then these are Scrap in a Snap, Photo Corners, Borders, Page Titles, Stickers from... Stichopotamus. These are really cute. And these are perfect for where we live. Look at all these. The snowmen and the snowflakes and the mittens. Oh, very, very cute. Yeah, I, I'll be able to use these for a lot of things. So, and then candles, I think. Yeah, candles. Okay. And more alphas. I love alpha stickers. I don't have very many of them. These are really like, these are perfect for fall. Simply Seasonal Inspirables from EK Success. Look at these. These colors are perfect. I'm going to be working on Thanksgiving cards. <coughs> and, uh, and then I'll have to jump into Christmas. And look at these. These are from DCWV. Love these colors pink and brown. 
Very cute. And the same alpha stickers, but these are in yellow and peach and orange. And blues and greens. I love all these. But wait, we're not done. Aren't these adorable? These little charming additions from Colorbook. Sue Dreamer. These are really, really cute. Those will be so cute on a mini. I love those for a Halloween mini or an anniversary or something. And Chloe's Closet. I do have some of the Chloe's Closet paper and embellishments. So these are perfect. Thank you. The six epoxy clips. And I love using paper clips and, and clothespins. Uh, then she sent me this baggie full of trim. And I guess I could use this for Christmas or for Valentine's Day. Look at that. This is a really thick fringe trim. Really nice. I love that color. It's kind of a blue-red. And then she sent me... Oh, what is this called? It's almost like a linen fabric, but it's one of those that you can uh, weave a ribbon in and out of if you want to. Kind of a rough textured, almost like a linen fabric. Really nice. I bet you this would accept color uh, very easily. Oh, this is very pretty, very delicate. Scalloped with flowers or um, could almost look like snowflakes. So this would be really pretty on a winter page. Or just for a little girl, like a, a little granddaughter. And, oh, this is kind of an, uh, um, I almost want to say acro, but I don't know if that's correct. Um, beautiful light tan color. And look at the detail, the flowers and then the dividers. This is beautiful. And I have a feeling that this would accept color very well, too. Beautiful. Oh, this will be beautiful. Can you envision this on a Christmas card? A burgundy and gold tone card. That is gorgeous. Can you see that? I hope you can see that design. Hang on here. Let me grab the back of her card. And hopefully you can see that. Isn't that beautiful? It's very soft, too. Uh, oh, here's a really pretty yellow. This would be really nice for something for spring or summer. Love that. Laura, Laura, Laura. My goodness. Oh, very pretty. I don't know if these are vintage, if some of them are vintage, but some of them appear like they are, or vintage-like. Look at the two different flowers here and here, and then there's a flower in the center of that. Beautiful. And the last bit of trim, well, this looks like it's vintage. Whoop. Look at that. Again, it's very soft, and it looks like it would accept color beautifully. Thank you, Laura, but we're not done yet. She, I don't, Laura, did you cut these all out, or punch them out? Or they look like they were hand done, punched or with a die cut. Ooh, look at these with all the cool paper. Ooh, I like this paper. All these beautiful fall leaves. Yeah, now I have to get working on um, autumn and Thanksgiving cards for sure, now that I have all these beautiful leaves. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, and then this, I was excited about this. The brads and the rhinestones, and they're in jewel tones, like pink, or like a purple pink, I guess a fuchsia, and a turquoise, and then... Um, purple and pink rhinestones. 
from Kay and Company. 92 pieces. Thank you. And then, look at what she did for me. She bought this cup and she decorated it for me with the J and all these really cute flowers. I just love this. I'm going to have to take this to work. And what's nice about these is that they don't um, build up condensation on the outside. So I just have to be really careful because these are paper. So I have to be really careful to keep all the liquid on the inside. Thank you, Laura. And let's see. I have to show you this. And I, what folder is this that you have for the, the leaves? I just love this design. So she altered a box, or she made the box. I guess she made the box. She didn't alter it. <clears throat> and I love that wooden button. Let me tip the camera down. But look what's inside. So she made this beautiful box. Oh, and she even scalloped the edges here. I hope you can see that. And look at what's inside all these gorgeous buttons. Look at those. Oh my god. Look at these. Aren't these cool? I want to see what these purple ones Oh, these are really nice. These will be really nice um, as a center of a flower or just accents. Look at all these metal beads. Uh, beads. Buttons. And then, look at all these cool paper clips. I just love these and the colors. These are so cool. Thank you so much, Laura. And then I wanted to make sure that you could see, <coughs> excuse me, how she scalloped the edge of the box. Isn't that cute? So do you have a die for this, Laura? You have to tell me. It almost looks like maybe she has a die to make the box. But maybe she's just really, really clever. And I love how this looks. So I'm going to put the buttons and the clips away. And I'm going to keep this out as a display. So Laura, thank you so much. My goodness, I don't know why you felt like you wanted to do that. But I truly appreciate it. I love everything that you sent to me. And I'll be able to use everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. So I'll put Laura's link down below. She hasn't started making videos yet, but um, she and I are friends on Facebook, and I've seen some of her work and here, and then her card. So we know that she has talent, and she said that she's working on her craft room, and she's had some problems with it. And once she gets that. <clears throat> more situated than she's going to um, start filming. So I'm looking forward to her videos. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all of my new subscribers and all of, the, all of you who have been subscribed to me for a while now. I truly appreciate it, and I appreciate that you watch my videos and leave your comments. So thank you so much. I'll just talk to you soon. Bye.